Selenunte, the ancient town of Selinus, antipodes of Segesta, didn't survive the centuries any better than its rival. The immensity of the ruins is suggested by the fact that visitors can hire a bike with engine at the entrance. The town was destroyed in 409 BC by the Carthaginian and hasn't been restored since, so it's quite difficult to make heads or tails of the ruins. Selinus was founded in 650 by the Greek. It was the westerly most Greek colony of Sicily. A part of it had been populated by people of Syracuse, but the First Punic War destroyed it, and what remained was decimated by earthquakes. A part of its stones were used to rebuild other structures. Since the 18th century, archaeologists have researched the history of the town, but they don't know even today which gods were to be honored by the construction of its eight churches. Working patiently, they try to reassemble the tumbled stones like a puzzle. The majority of this work has been done on a computerized model. In practice, only one church has been restored. It may have been Hera's church. The biggest church, 54 by 113 meters, may have been built for Apollo. It's only still standing column over 16 meters high. Some columns of the remainders of Acropolis are still standing, but the others lie in quite large disarray. Above the small Marinella fishing village, there's a medieval tower called Torre di Polace. There's a good view from here over the ruins and the sea. Via the main road of the town of 400 meters, we can reach remainders of gate fortresses similar to the ones in Syracuse. It's advisable to visit Selenunte in spring or autumn because of its lack of shade. The heat is lessened by the wind blowing from the sea. The name Selenunte means highland celery, but along the roads only dill and cress grow wild. Those who are interested in archaeology can look at the excavations not only in Segesta and Selenunta, but the ruined field of Eraclea Minoa nearby and the Zona Archaeologica in Agrigento, which hides the Valley of the Churches.